Hello my lovelies. I decided to put out a just quick guided meditation for the autumn equinox, also known as Maybon, also known as our transition from summer to fall. Um, what else is it known as? Our harvest festival. Um, it is on September 22nd. So again, this is the transition from summer to fall, our season change, our autumn equinox, and also known if you follow um, the pagan or Wiccan calendar of the year, it is known as Maybon. So this is our harvest festival. So what's it about? What's going on? Um, this is the time to practice gratitude. This is the time to be grateful for what has happened so far this year. And then it's a transition from light to dark. So this is our, um, our fall or autumn season is our season of decay. I know it sounds kind of grim, but it's not. We can't look at death and decay as a bad thing because after the, you know, this kind of decaying process comes winter, which is essentially the season of death, quote unquote, again, not actual death, but things are dying, right? Our leaves are dying. You know, we're kind of going into this hibernation period. And this is the celebration of things ending. Like this is our, we get our harvest from the year. Like our harvest is over. We have all these beautiful, wonderful foods that we have harvested. And again, this is, I'm using this as a metaphor. And also actually like if you planted a garden, this is your harvest time. This is the time that our crops get harvested. And again, harvesting what you've manifested through the past year and taking all those things that you grew and being grateful for them, being grateful for everything. I know it's been a tough couple years, believe me, I know, but being grateful for what you've harvested in this time and celebrating the end of this summer season, this transition between light and dark, um, knowing that everything is temporary, everything. So we're cyclical beings. Everything comes in cycles. We go through this death and rebirth cycle constantly. We have so many cycles in life. Think of all the things that have cycles in this world. Our seasons, um, our, if you know, if you're a person with a period, our periods, um, the moon phase is a cycle. The sun has a cycle night and day. Um, we have cycles inside of us or digestive cycle, the cycle of pregnancy, the cycle of going from a baby to an adult. God, there's so many cycles, a cycle of plants, you know, when they harvest and they bloom, there's so many different cycles in life. And that's what we have to remember is that our life is cyclical. You're not going to bloom year round and you're not going to grow year round. So we're celebrating this kind of transition from this, this exponential growth and moving forward to kind of calming down a little bit. Um, we're going to meditate on this. I want you to think about the death card in tarot. So the death card, everybody thinks it's a scary card. I promise it's not scary. Um, it doesn't mean someone's actually going to die, usually. It, it means death and rebirth. We just focus on the death and not so much the rebirth. Something has to die for you to be born again or to rebirth or to go through this life-death cycle. Um, in one of my favorite tarot decks, the Way Home Tarot, death is depicted as um, it's a deer that has passed and, you know, it's passed away in a forest and there's life growing out of that because, again, this kind of decay composts the ground and then all these mushrooms are growing out of it. So with death comes rebirth. With death comes a new something growing. So that's what we're going to be focusing on. So I want you to get comfortable for this guided meditation. It'll be, we're just going to sit here and breathe. There's just going to be a little bit of movement. Um, but if you'd like to do a yoga class, I have my full moon in Pisces yoga up. It just happened um, two days ago before this. Um, if you're watching this on September 22nd, the Pisces full moon was the 20th. Um, I have a yoga class there for you. I also have a tarot reading. So we're just going to move very lightly, but we're going to sit and meditate. So I encourage you to sit on a pillow, a bolster, a block, a block, a blanket, whatever works for you. Just be somewhere where you can sit comfortably for five to 10 minutes. You can also lay down if that feels good, though I find I always fall asleep <laughs> when we do that, but you do what works best for you. We're going to breathe here. So once you come to your comfortable place where you want to meditate, I just want you to close your eyes if that feels comfortable for you. You can have your palms facing down for grounding energy or palms facing up to receive. And then we're just going to start to bring our awareness to our breath here. Noticing maybe our posture, feeling a, almost like a string pulling from the top of your head to kind of straighten that spine. And again, just bring your awareness to your breath. I want you to notice your breath as it goes in and out through your nose. Maybe visualizing your breath in your mind just to bring yourself to this moment, to the present, to your mat today.
lengthen and deepen those inhales and exhales. Remembering on the inhale to take up space, felt the chest, felt the belly. And on the exhale, using it as a little release. Now we're gonna do some five part breathing here to get us in the space for meditation. So just listen to me, I'm gonna guide you through it. I want you to inhale for five, four, three, two, one, hold. And exhale for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one, hold. And exhale for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one, hold. And exhale for five, four, three, two, and one. Now you can continue this five part breathing on your own and counting it down in your head or just allowing your breaths to be long and deep. I want you to start to think about what do you need to let go of? What is dying in your life? And I don't mean in the physical, maybe it is physical. I just want you to think about what is transitioning out of your life? What cycle are you coming out of? What are some things that are dead that aren't serving you anymore that you need to let go of? First, we have to acknowledge how it did serve us. So I want you to think about how did this thing that is transitioning out, how did this thing that is maybe decaying or dying, how did it serve me? Maybe it was an old version of yourself that you used for survival. And we can't hate that version of ourselves. It served us, we needed it to survive. Acknowledging and being grateful for how it served us. Practicing gratitude for what it gave us. What harvest or good thing did it bring you? Remembering that again, even if it might have, we see it as a negative now, at the time it brought us something good. It brought us some kind of harvest. We have to acknowledge that before we can let it go. Using your breath to explore these things with non-attachment, non-judgment, practicing curiosity, not judging yourself for any tensions, blockages, or constraints, remembering that we are only human. And just getting curious about these things. And now starting to acknowledge, why do we need to let this thing go? Why is it on its way out? Why is it dying? Why does it no longer serve us? Remembering your breath, if you're struggling, just bring it back to your breath. Inhale in and exhale out. Now I want you to think about how can you let it go? How can you release this thing that's on its way out? Maybe using your breath as a tool to let it go. So we're gonna take a big inhale in through the nose, fill out the chest, fill out the belly. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Big inhale in, fill up the chest, fill up the belly. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. One more just like that, biggest inhale again. I want you to fill up, fill up, fill up. Take up space, push the belly out, push the chest out. And open mouth, exhale, release it. Letting your breath return to normal. And now I want you to think about what are you grateful for? What are you grateful for from this past year? What are you grateful for right now in this moment? It can be big or small. There's no right or wrong answer. I want you to try to list at least five things you're grateful for in your mind. This can be your home, your family, your friends, your animals, maybe a really good food that you had today or this week, a really good event or happening in your life that might have happened recently, your favorite hobby, your favorite activity, your favorite TV show, it can be anything, anything that you're grateful for, big or small. 
And I want you to think about how can you celebrate that gratitude? How can you acknowledge it and celebrate these things that brought us abundance? Celebrate this harvest. I want you to allow yourself to be just filled up with that feeling of warmth, that feeling of gratitude. I want you to imagine in the pit of your belly, there's kind of, there's a fire going in there. It's like a warm, comfortable bonfire. Maybe it's in a fireplace, maybe it's outside. I want you to picture or visualize this fire in your mind and just feel the warmth radiating off of it. Feel that gratitude. Breathing here, filling yourself up again with that feeling of warmth, of comfort. We're going to seal this with a few breaths. We're going to go back to our five part breathing. So just listen to my voice. Take an inhale in for five, four, three, two, one. Hold. And exhale for five, four, three, two two, and one. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Hold. And exhale for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Hold. And exhale for five, four, three, two, and one. Allow your breath to return back to normal. Start to invite some movement into the body. So maybe we're just gonna roll our shoulders back. Nice and slow, nice and gentle, just doing what feels right. Maybe roll the shoulders forward now. Still filled with that feeling of warmth, that feeling of gratitude. You can bring your hands to either side of you, feeling the mat beneath your fingertips. We're gonna inhale our arms up, take a big stretch up, reaching the hands towards the sky or the ceiling. Exhale, bring them back down. Inhale, arms come up, reach, 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 taking all that energy, that wonderful warm energy. Exhale, bring them back down. Inhale, arms up one more time. Again, grabbing a hold of all that energy like it's big beach ball over your head. And exhale, one last release of anything that doesn't serve us. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, draws the palms together to touch and bring them to your heart center. The light and love and gratitude in me honors the light, the love, the gratitude in you. We bow to our practice. Thank you. That is all I have for you lovelies today. I hope you feel good. I hope you're able to release some things, some things that need to be let go of and practice gratitude. Now, if you'd like, I have just five, four simple journal prompts for you. If you're like, I want to practice this gratitude. I want to have this harvest. So you're going to write down five things that you love about your body, five things you love about your body. And if you're struggling with body acceptance, that's okay. Try to keep it neutral. I like my hair. I like my eyes. I like my tummy, like whatever it is. Five things you love about yourself. So five things you love about your personality. I'm a good friend, I have a good sense of humor, I'm kind, whatever it is. Five things you've accomplished in this past year. Now remember that it can be big or small. It doesn't even, it could be, to think of the tiniest accomplishments, think of the biggest accomplishments. Don't get hung up so that it only have to be like huge, ginormous accomplishments. And five things you love about your life anything, your, your dogs, your animals, your family, whatever it is. Give me small things. I love my new tarot deck that I got. I don't care what it is. And finish it with five things that you're grateful for. If you'd like to write those five things down, having a gratitude practice changed my life. I do my gratitude journaling every morning. So again, five things you love about your body, five things you love about yourself, five things you've accomplished in this past year, five things you love about your life, and if you want, five things that you're grateful for. That's all I have for you, my darlings. I hope that you feel good. I hope you have a wonderful full moon, a wonderful autumn equinox. Um, 
yeah, I've been vlogging. I've been doing my spooky Saturdays. I might not be able to get this one out this Saturday. Um, I'm going to be traveling, um, but I'm going to be trying to get them out as many as I can. I hope you enjoy them. I hope you enjoy the yoga. I hope you enjoy the tarot readings. Um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, on TikTok, and I'll see you guys next time.